We're going to finish this off. We're going to be inking Patrick. He is nowhere near as complicated as SpongeBob. So let us zoom in on Patrick. I want to point out that I've also created a new layer called Patrick. We hit B for brush, hit brush medium, and just start over here. This line here represents the crop mark of the cover, but I am going to draw well outside of that to give the editorial staff the freedom to be able to move some of these elements around. Start pressing light, press heavier on the downstrokes, and there. Hint of a knuckle there for Patrick. Give it a little bit of an inward stretch and then an outward stretch so it's a nice S curve. And I'll go over it again. I'm trying to make it thicker on this side. Patrick doesn't actually have fingers and he doesn't really have a thumb except for when we need one so we need one right now his brows have a distinctive Z shape I don't think I got it on this one Take this and maybe stretch it out a little bit. Before I have a chance to forget on SpongeBob, these outer ridges feel like they need to be thicker. I'm going to unlock him, bring in this stroke, hit 1.4, make that stroke bolder, make this stroke 1.4, okay, make this stroke 1.4. Three. Feels a little bit more substantial there. Pat also has dots on his chest and belly. Here's his belly button. It is going to be out of frame for this illustration. You never know. I'm drawing it in there because they may need to put it in. Now for a parallel line like this, I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it and I'm going to drag it right back down to where it was. Do a little transform on it to make it smaller and I'm going to make the flower patterns that again are going to be out of frame anyway but I just want to put them in there in case they need to really widen out again this line is the boundary but I want to draw out to this line to give them plenty of bleed let's now go to Pat's sweat drops Alright. Again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Hit the V tool. I'm going to rotate that eye. I'm just going to try to get it in the ballpark. Make this medium strength. And I will take the pencil tool and I will try to change the shape of the eyeball. You notice I don't have to go all the way around the eyeball. I could just change a portion of it and stretch it out if I want to. Squinch it in. The elbow tool to make a pupil for him. I'm going to fill that with black. And hit V to transform it. Move it over here. Drag on it. I can use the end tool to Make that a little flatter on one side of it. And I'll hit V to rotate it. Take the whole eye, copy, paste it over to this side. Hit the end tool to bring it back in closer to that pencil line. Bring it in over here as well. Fill that with white. Select this eye and this click on this and go bring to front and then I'm going to select this and fill it with white copy this paste it drag it over here make that smaller and then finally I'm going to take this I'm going to make it brush wide white fill and then select it go to arrange bring to front 
That way it covers up that. I'm going to select this eye shape. I want it a little bit thicker. I'm going to say 1.2. I'm going to pick this one. It's closer to us. I want it even thicker than 1.2. So 1.3. And we are finished with the inking.